Okay, here's how to use colour pencils to make your lettering look really great, 3D, colourful. Okay, um, now there's more stuff coming up. Uh, lots to do with colour and so on. So if you want to know what's coming up, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> okay, right. Now, the colour pencils I'm using are artist quality. Here we are, uh, they're an artist. But of course, any good quality pencil will do. Now what you do here is, I'm going to start off with um, a dark blue colour. These are the pencils here. This dark blue is uh, the Prussian blue. And you've got to imagine that these shapes here are tubular, okay? Like you see the, the R here, see the light catching that bit of the curve? Same happens here. Imagine this is a tube and that's a tube. So the light will hit the middle and there. So we start off by taking your darkest pencil, which is the dark blue here, and shading in across the top. And what you do with colored pencils is if you use a lot of weight on them, they'll be dark, obviously. And uh, if you take that weight off, will be light or lighter like that see and as you come towards the bit where the streak of light would be in the middle you know try and take the weight right off so it's very light indeed the bottom the same thing come along nice and heavy and as you get to the middle take that weight off okay same there okay try and keep to those lines and I've drawn those lines in actually with uh, a ruler and one of the well this pencil in fact uh, you can do it with hand, uh, hand drawing if you like but you get a sharper edge if you use a ruler especially for lettering okay coming down this side uh, again I'm going to put the weight on the pencil here nice and heavy Come out to that about there. Then as I come towards the center of the tube, take the weight off. Now you can see I'm using my pencil and uh, a kind of circular motion. You can do that or you know use it in a line going along with the, the direction of the, uh, the part of the letter you're, you're drawing. Okay, there's the dark bit in quite heavy and then as I'm going up to the top take the weight off and then I'm leaving this light bit in the middle here okay now you can see it's starting to look three-dimensional already and you could regard this I suppose as under coloring okay under painting uh, that's your shape we want to get a bit more color in here so I want to move on to this pencil here now which is imperial purple and by going over the top of the Going over the top of the blue, uh, again using the same technique, darker there, and lightening up a bit as you come towards the centre, you get a much more complex look to your colour, you know, and the, the purple starts to kind of show through the blue. And uh, the same there, nice and dark, coming up towards that centre bit again. By the way, don't worry if you do too much colouring and lose the, the, the light bit because you just get your trusty putty rubber and, uh, and rub it out and clean up the middle section again. There we are, they're building up the, the, the purple over the top of the blue here. Right, uh, there we are. So you start to look like this now. Okay. Um, what I did also was I took a little bit of a red colour. There's a fraction, just to beef it up a wee bit in the, in the middle there, just a wee touch, not too much. Just a wee hint of colour in there. Yeah, like that. And it's starting to look quite nice. Um, I would maybe put a bit more of the, uh, the blue in again, just to Deepen it a bit more. Leave it more there. And be a bit more of the purple again. Put a bit more weight on that. Okay, as I come down. And up into the centre. Like that, a bit more weight there. Nice and deep. 
And as I said, you could use a putty rubber and peel off the edge. It's just a bit warm, but uh, you know, it's still got that edge. And if it's too much, you just, you know, put a line across there and a line down the middle. And that picks out your light again. Okay, right, now just to finish it off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a ruler and pick out the edging with black. Okay, so here's the top line here, the black colour pencil. Like that. There. Like that. And there. Not necessary to do this, but uh, you know, it kind of sharpens up your your image. Oops, and uh, colour pencils do tend to break <laughs> quite easily, as you can see. Now you still got a sharp edge there, that's fine. And there. And then finish off by taking my line across here. Okay, so there is uh, how to use colour pencils to create nice tubular looks in your lettering. Right, now I hope you can check out uh, the rest of my videos by showing you how to do lots more stuff, you know, including characters and so on. But in the meantime, all the best and happy drawing!